For John and Jennifer Weir, an affinity for coffee started at a young age. My mom tells a story that I could barely walk, but I would crawl up to the table and try to steal sips of her coffee. And fostered budding forays into the job market. My first job on Cape Cod as a 16-year-old was working in a coffee shop owned by two Italian guys. Uh, one spoke English, one yelled in Italian a lot. An early high school graduate, John Weir, put himself through college on the East Coast by working at local coffee shops, as he was too young to work in bars. By the time he graduated, he saw that the business of coffee provided a more lucrative career than his one offered by his degree. By the time I graduated with a bachelor's degree in U.S. constitutional history and English literature, I could either teach public school for $22,000 a year, or I could come to the West Coast and work for Starbucks as a manager in Montecito and make about $7,000 a year more than that. So I came to the West Coast. Eventually, John moved through the corporate ranks of the big kings of caffeination, Starbucks, and coffee bean and tea leaf. But it was his expanding exposure and relationship with the coffee farmers that gave him the epiphany on the future of the industry and his responsibility as the final stop in the coffee supply chain. I left two corporate coffee company jobs after waking up on a farm at Origin, both times, and woke up feeling like we weren't honoring what was happening right in front of me in the roasting plant and through the end of the process. In 2010, with his wife Jennifer, John created Beacon Coffee in Ventura, where they independently source and roast their own coffee beans. By applying a focus on the superior quality of flavor for the consumer, they are changing the payment model for coffee farmers. When we visit with each of the farmers each year, whether we've been working with them for two years or longer since we started in 2010, uh, we always start the conversation with, how has this year gone so far? How's harvest going? How, did you run into any issues? What do you need? What did, it, what did it cost this year? So we start with that and then we taste the coffee together. After we decide what the cost of production was, a quality differential on top of that to reward them for all of the extra work that they did. Riding what is considered the third wave of the consumer's evolving standards for coffee, John and Jennifer are delivering intricate coffee flavor experiences that can be derived not only by regions, but by specific farms and bean varietals. Every year, John and Jennifer head to South America to personally select the coffee offered at Beacon. The last trip that we did, we did three countries in 11 days, and we <laughs> saw 28 farms. With their second shop opening in Ojai within the month, Beacon will continue to bring their farmers' stories to the local communities via their unique focus on education. And in our industry, cupping is very similar to a wine tasting. So when we cup coffee, we taste three coffees side by side, comparing terroir, um, growing practices, and how they're finished and milled, and, um, and then discuss why you're tasting what you're tasting. In describing their perfect cups of coffee, you can see how Beacon is a labor of love for John and Jennifer. My favorite cup of coffee in the world usually happens in about the second week of February at about 6.30 in the morning local time in the Central Valley of Costa Rica when I wake up on the front porch at La Manita. <laughs> Best coffee ever. <laughs>